What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Watcher of Realms. And today I want to talk about Gear Raid 3. Um, I'm probably not going to be the best at these guides, but I'm, I, what I find from people posting these guides, I get like a little bit from each one. So, all, you know, all the streamers, YouTubers um, that are posting guides, I mean, I, I find some piece of nugget from each of them that helped me out because you never know if you had the units that are like the next person. Now, in terms of Gear Raid 3, where am I at? I'm currently clearing autoing on stage 17 and trying to figure out how I'm going to push further. So I'm going to explain how I think I can push to 18. 19, on the other hand, is just going to be a beast. And here, I don't know if you guys are feeling the same way as me. I almost feel stuck. Like, I've been trying to figure out, can I clear stage 19 on anything so I can start getting some better gear? And I just, I'm really, really struggling. Um, I think my best shot is Gear Raid 2. So I'm actually going to next focus on one of my tanks, which would the tank that we have the event for right now. I already have her to Awaken 2, the Soul Day. Um, so, I mean, I wish I would have got some other lords with that luck. But, hey, it is what it is. I will take it. And I'm probably going to pump her up a little bit. See if I can push through Gear Raid 2 and show you guys how I'm doing there. But let's go ahead and talk about Gear Raid 3. So like I said, I'm where I was before is I was autoing on, I think I was autoing 14 and I had beat 15 once, but not without getting rid of some mobs. So let's go ahead and play through and show you, kind of explain where I'm at with um, 15 and then step, step you through with the changes, the things I tried and changes I made. So here on 15, my Nyx is my most powerful marksman. And then, of course, my most powerful mage, Comet. I use these two up front and center to um, DPS the main units here. This usually isn't my problem. Um, I'm pretty good at getting the um, main boss down. I put my Zilla 2 in the middle as well. And I played around with putting her back here or up here. You know, in most cases, um, especially when I'm getting the harder content, she does better up here at the front to get the damage in there faster. As you can see, the first wave of mobs comes from the right. The second wave comes from the left. Um, I was using my Maul at this point, which Maul is really good in this scenario. And I did make a bit of a mistake. I upgraded both my Brienne and my Theowin. I six-starred both of them. And I then turned around to regret it because they don't have the range to cover these sides. So I'll explain what I did for that in a minute. You can see Maul ended up going down. But at the time where I was geared and stuff, that Maul did enough on the right side to take out enough of those mobs. And that's kind of what you want to do. If you don't have, let me show the map so I can explain this. If you don't have, um, you know, if you can't cover all your bases. So if we pull up the map. You got this right platform and left platform. And I think ideally the way this is set up, you would want one super range over here and one super range over here. So they can do enough damage to these while they're sitting here. Um, which I could put like Nyx on one side and Maul on the other side. And they could pretty much handle those sideways. And then I have to figure out how to deal with the middle. So I'm still toying around in my head in terms of how I can switch up my lineup. I've tried putting Nyx on the side, but then I lost my DPS in the middle. So it's like, what can I do? And that's kind of the thought process you have to do, man. Some of these take some time to really work through. So, so that's where I'm at. For this one, I did have my Maul. He was strong enough for 15. He's only 5-star uh, with some really not so good gear. Busting up as much as I can over here. And I'm going to go ahead and say I don't have much good gear. And I made some massive mistakes with spending my coins. Um, so, hey, I live, I learn, I keep moving forward. So then your basic, basically what you're trying to do then is, okay, well, how can I deal with the, the boss? And so you want your, you want two really good DPS here and here, and, and you still want some range there is a the problem. So that's why I end up using my Nyx and my Comet. So then my Zilla 2 comes in and she can kind of back up my Comet for the stuff that might come through here. Nyx pretty much holds her stuff down. So that's, that's really um, 15. And really the way it goes from here up through 18 is... You get a little bit more mobs over here, stronger mobs over here, and even the middle gets stronger. So let's go ahead and then go to, I'm going to go ahead and skip to 17. So I did 16 and 17 the same. 
and I'll explain what I do here. So on 17, I had the same start each time and able to, to be able to get rid of these miles fast enough. I had Nix here, I put Comet here, I put Zilla 2 here. I think when I defeated 16, I actually had Zilla 2 on the back uh, square, which worked out, but I don't I don't know if that really matters too much. And she just can help with the size if possible. I had to retry this a lot of times. So once I have my three main DPS out, I get my healers out. Now I have to start thinking about how I'm gonna handle these. So I did level up my Theowin, but he doesn't have the range here. He can't do enough here. I have to stick him down here. So then right around here, I time my ult, get that in. These mobs come in. So the, for the first wave, I go ahead and use my Comet ult so he can pull, pick them off. I save my Iona ult because you either need some rage regen or you need to time your ults good because you can see here I was able to get the one off but I would never not have been able to get Iona off again before this next wave came through because they both come through at the same time so you can see by now my main damage dealers took care of the boss I don't know if I necessarily have time to despawn or respawn here but um essentially the, the goal here is to use the and I'll show this on the map kind of what my idea is for how I did this and how I have everyone on the middle platform and hopefully this helps somebody I don't know so we go here and look at the map so I got my Nyx here doing my uh, damage and my comment and my um, uh, Zilla 2 in the middle these three their primary objective is to handle the middle handle the middle and stay alive so then I get my two healers down because they start taking damage pretty early so I put the healers on these blocks. Maybe I can play around with some different positioning. Maybe I'll do that for 18. We'll see. And then from there, once I have my healers down, this wave is going to come in first. So I put my Theowin down here. Now his goal, I need to charge his ult so that what I try to do is ult when they get around here so that Nyx can still hit them while they're trying to come in. So I use my Nyx and my Comet enough to try to DPS the side waves if possible. Because honestly, in the end of the day, the DPS back here is not gonna be enough to take them out. There's some strong mobs in there. So then I put my Iona down here and she helps finish off anything coming in from the left. So of course, then we got our healers. And then I put Mari down just as an extra slow. So she put, I put her down in this corner and face her to the left. So she covers um, these blocks here. It's just kind of like my last line of defense. Like, okay, can I slow the enemies enough so that I can get them down before they go into a little thing? And there was runs that I finished where maybe one or two mobs got through. And it was really just trial and error, a little bit of tweaking on some gear. But that's how I managed to do this without anyone on the outside platforms. Now, how I would have liked to do this was, honestly, I would have built Maul. Maul can be pretty good if you have him in gear, you have his skills up, and you build him just just build him um build him over the other ones you can see here if i show you what i have and maybe this is going to show how much of inexperience i have overall like or all the mistakes i made but here's my six stars on my epics and you can see i six star theowin and i six star um brienne my idea with theowin is i like his slow um, I like, you know, the fact that I had a max awaken because I did pull him quite a bit and I fused a couple couple of him. So that was nice. But overall, um, I, well, I'll say this. I like Brienne because I've seen her do a lot of stuff on other people's videos. And I, I kind of was like kind of hating that I got her. I got uh, Toriel from my beginner summon instead of Brienne. At the same time, Brienne is good. But in this particular scenario... I'm not really using her and I really wish I would have just put those same resources into Maul and go ahead and get Maul up. But that's what that gives you an idea of what you're looking for. You kind of want that range. So if we look at um, the details on him, you see his range got that one little extra knob sticking out. I don't know who else, um, if anyone else has that particular range. I mean, Toriel is good, but she's single target. She can take out some of them before they start moving in. But um, the AOE damage from Maul is just really where it's at. He can clear a whole side, own a whole side himself. Um, so otherwise, you're really looking at... I don't really have anyone else I could even thought I would have uh, 
built up. I don't I don't have any other epic uh, marksman. And the only thing I got is a lovely crack, which, uh, man, or I don't know how you say the crash, crack. I don't know. His, uh, his range is definitely a little bit weird. He's got this five across thing. Um, yeah, he's multi-attack. I didn't build him. I built him a little bit just using him early game, but he's got a high cost and I just, I haven't really found any kind of good use for him. I don't think he's that great to be honest. So out of everything I have, the only thing I would have done was probably built, um, oh, I have a nice Brunor too, but I don't, he again is, he's got a lot, he's got a long range, but I don't, I don't think, I don't think he's that great, but I don't know, maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have tried him. His ratings are not terrible, but he's only a four on gear rate three, so I don't know how much I would have to build him. Um, he seems to have... He's got oh, like a wider range. I don't know how much damage he's going to do. And is it AOE? No, it is AOE damage. Reek AOE damage. Last 25 seconds. Man, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should have built up. I could have probably built him up too. But Maul is really good. Um, I guess if I had the resources, I could build him up for the other side. But his range. No, it is. It is. It is bigger than Brian and Theowin. Um. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I got him maxed out on awakenings too, so he might have been a decent shout. Let me. Uh, I, I'll probably have to think about this. If you have Bruno built up, because he was in the banner, um, might be a, a good option as well. If you can get him his attack high enough, you want something to deal with those two sides. Maul can definitely deal with one side. Nyx could deal with one side, but I, I was lacking the damage in um, the center. So I don't know. I have to toy around with that. I'm gonna keep playing around with what I can do to get through gear uh, the stage 18. So hopefully the information here at least helped you if you are trying to get through here. Like I said, 18 is still the same uh, layout. 19 goes to some craziness here because you need to be able to deal with these uh, deal with these sides. I think there's a cheese with Maul to kind of point him. Uh, off to one side or something. I don't know exactly how they did it. This one's definitely gonna be interesting, but uh, my goal here is at least get through 18. Um, I might just go ahead and build them all up and see if I can knock it out. But anyway, I hope that helps you guys in gear rate three, depending on what uh, heroes you have. I would say if you <laughs> if you end up getting someone like uh, a Raka uh, hat suit, oh my gosh, these guys would dominate on here, they're so good, Cetrum is even good, right, he would be a good marksman to take care of one of the sides, um, as you can see here though, I have none of the highly recommended units, absolutely none of them, now I do have these three recommended, I think this might have threw me off too, they have Brienne and uh, Theowin up here, but I don't know, maybe I'm just not putting enough gear on them to get them strong enough, um, I might toy around with it a little bit more, they're good, but just not not taking me that to that level I need at least to not get through stage 18 so hope this helped if you have any questions let me know down in the comments if you like the content make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on I'll catch you in the next video